morning and welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. This class, it is very remember all those people who are suffering because of this pandemic around the world. And also, let us pray for Ruiz, who is uh, celebrating that birthday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the comrade of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O oh Lord, that we may honor you with all our might and love everyone in truth, the truth of heart. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. of the Lord. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. It is full of the goodness of the Lord. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope 
in his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord.
laws, keeping the teachings what he taught us, keeping the law of command, uh, the, the commandment of love, and keeping the uh, uh, others uh, uh, thinking about others good and giving good to others, we can be in the side of Jesus. So let this fire, the power of the Holy Spirit, help us to persevere in faith and in goodness and also persevere sufferings in our day to day life. Amen. Blessed are the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. As it be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the wine, and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual faith. Yes. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and words may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O oh Lord, we bring to you, Lord, these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them, transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to have told you, with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Open eye in the heart. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open eye in the heart. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Holy of all holies, make holy dear for these gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of him. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess and your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Christian and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray. And the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teachings, be there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from your evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. By my God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. By my God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Love of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Glory of Christ. Amen.
prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As he said, let go in peace. Thanks be to God. Yeah.